What is going on everybody? So today we are going to be talking about how you can go to ranger school. All right, so this video right here is supposed to be just a quick and easy, simple, just explanation of the different routes that you can take to go to ranger school. Now, ranger school and RASP are different things. I've made a video on that in the past. If I can remember, I'll link it up, put it in the little video icon thing here in the card or in the description, or you guys can just, you know, Google RASP versus ranger school. So there are basically three routes that you can take in order to go to ranger school. And the first route, unlike going to RASP where you can actually get it in your contract, you cannot get ranger school in any contract, whether you're going to enlisted or officer but the first route that you can take that's probably the easiest way to go to ranger school if ranger school is like the thing that you want to do or want to go to that's like on your military bucket list or whatever the easiest way that you can do that route number one is to become an officer right so i know a lot of you out there who watch my videos aren't trying to become an officer i mean officers are a much much smaller percentage of the military than enlisted soldiers but if you want to go to ranger school and that's like super duper important you want the easiest way to get there not that ranger school is easy it's actually extremely difficult but you go as an officer and you join a branch of the army that is combat related because when you're an officer and you're in a combat mos going to ranger school is essentially like required like it's it's basically if you don't go to ranger school and you're an officer and you're like in uh field artillery then it's kind of like looked down upon you if you want to go as an infantry officer then yes you definitely need to go to ranger school and essentially what's going to happen is you're going to go you're going to commission you're going to go to your bullock if you're going to infantry bullock it'll be eye bullock you're going to go to that you're going to go to whatever officer training that you have to go to and immediately after that is whenever you're going to be going to ranger school now don't be too upset if you don't want to go into a combat mos as an officer it is still very likely that you could go to ranger school as an officer even if you're not in a combat mos if you're just going transportation if you're going signal like myself whenever you get to bullock you will have that opportunity to essentially volunteer to go to ranger school now if you're active duty that's going to be what you got to do if you are reservist or national guard going to ranger school is next to impossible it's definitely possible but if you are going into the reserves if you're going into the national guard ranger school just you know try to do it if you want to if you really want to push for it if you really want to ask around for it all the time i mean that's what i'm doing i'm asking about it all the time i'm like hey what can i do what can i do what can i do and the opportunity hasn't came up i haven't been able to do it yet but hopefully hopefully i can actually do it one day so that's gonna be i'm gonna cover that a little bit more in route number three but that's it for basically route number two route number one go officer combat mos that's more of like a surefire way to do it non-combat mos as an officer is like a yeah you could do it if you want to but it's not like gonna be super guaranteed so route number two to go to ranger school is go into the 75th ranger regiment join the military get an option 40 contract, go to RASP, actually make it into the 75th Ranger Regiment. You don't necessarily have to join and then go into the 75th, but really route number two is join the 75th Ranger Regiment, whether that's right at enlistment or a couple years down the road. And then when you're in the 75th Ranger Regiment, you are going to much more easily be able to go to Ranger School. It's kind of like one of those things when you're in the regiment, like if you want to go to Ranger School, especially if you're an NCO, then yeah, you're gonna get that chance to go to Ranger School because ultimately like, I'm not gonna talk too much about what Ranger School is and all that stuff because that's in the video that I referred you guys to with the RAS versus Ranger School video, but Ranger School is a leadership school, right? So you're not gonna be an E2 private going to Ranger School. That's just not gonna be the case. It is a leadership school. So officers, NCOs, they're leaders in the military. Now by me saying that, if for some reason you have no clue what Ranger School is and you think that it's just gonna be like a, a books thing, like you're gonna be sitting in a classroom all the time because it's like a leadership school, it is not that. You are gonna be leading people through a bunch of different field training exercises. It's gonna be very, very, very physically demanding. So just look that up if you want to actually do that. So route number two is join the 75th Ranger Regiment, however you wanna do it, whether that's an option 40 contract on enlistment or 
after the fact, after you join, end up switching to go into the 75th Range Regiment. Also, if you're curious what MOSs are available to go into the 75th Range Regiment, I'm not gonna list them all, but you can Google it, so it's pretty simple. And the third and final route to going to Ranger School is essentially get super duper duper lucky, all right? So if you are, a, like I said, a reservist or in the National Guard, going to Ranger School just point blank period, I mean, it's gonna be next to impossible. You're gonna have to be kind of well connected or something. Like hopefully one day I could like, interview the Sergeant Major of the Army, be like, hey, can I go to Ranger School? That would be freaking awesome. And then that's the only way I can foresee myself end up going to Ranger School is if like I pull the Matt Ward card or something. And I'm like, hey, I could do a video on this, but ultimately for me, for you out there, if you're in the National Guard or Reservist, it's like a less than a 1% chance. Now, if you're active duty, it's still basically not gonna happen. So uh, route number three is just some way, somehow, ask around, do what you gotta do. It's probably not gonna happen, but you're gonna have to get like very, very, very lucky. So that is essentially it for this hopefully short, sweet, and to the point, three routes on how you can go to Ranger School. And that is gonna be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, hit that like button, that would be awesome. If you wanna stick around some more of my videos, hit the subscribe button, that would be even better. Follow me on Instagram, Snapchat, if you haven't already. Hope you guys have an amazing freaking day, and I'll see y'all later. Drop.